In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a thermometer chart. Now, what I mean by that is basically just like a bar chart, but it looks kind of like a thermometer, so that when it increases, it goes up until it reaches a level of 100% or whatever you want. And it's actually pretty simple to do, and it looks kind of cool. So let me explain what I have here. I've got, um, say you want, you're implementing a sales promotion scheme for your business and you want to see how effective it is. Your goal is to have a hundred thousand dollars of revenue in 10 days and say that's way above normal. So you want to see if the sales promotion is affecting that or not. So what I have here are 10 days on the left and sales. So far we just finished the sixth day and we've got four more days to go. The goal is a hundred thousand dollars and total is 76,950. So all I did there, the goal is a simple number, the total is a simple sum of all of these data points, and the current level simply divides the total by the goal to give you a percentage. And then I formatted this cell as a percentage. I right click, format cells, percentage. So that's a basic setup. Now to create the chart, simply go into insert, chart, select the default bar chart, clustered column, or the, I mean, sorry, the column chart with a clustered column, so it goes up vertically. Click next. Now for the data, don't really worry about this too much. Go to the series tab remove this, add one series, that's it, for the value all you want to do is input the current level, so the percentage that you have now of your goal. Hit enter, click next. Now here we want it to look kind of like a thermometer or as much as possible, so we don't want any grid lines in the background, so take those out for a legend, we don't need a legend, so take that out and you'll see a preview of what it looks like here. You can put in a title, so the chart title will just be Sales Promotion Goal. Oops. Sales Promotion Goal. And that should be it for this, so click Finish get an embedded chart. Now let's try and resize this a little bit. Make it so it looks a little bit more like a thermometer. Okay, so now there are a few things that we need to do here. First of all, let's go ahead and take off the x-axis. So I'm going to right click, format axis, go to the Patterns tab, and simply click None for everything. None for Major Tick Mark Type, None for Minor Tick Mark Type, and None for Tick Mark Labels. And all I did to get here was right click on the X axis. Click OK. So there's nothing down there now. Now what we want to do is make this column take up all the space. So right click on the column, click Format Data Series. Now here, go to Options tab, and where it says Gap Width 150, make that 0. Make sure the overlap is also 0. Click OK. So now that fills up the full, the full chart. Now what I want to do is take this gray out. So I'm going to right click over the plot area, Format, plot area, and all I'm doing right now is just formatting. So I'm going to make the background white, and I want to make sure there's no border, so none. Click OK. Now it looks like that. And now I want to find out what percentage the column's actually at. So to do that, right click, format data series, go to the data labels tab, then click value. Click OK. 
Now the value, 76.95%, shows up here, but I want it to appear in the middle. So I'm going to right click over the number, then click Format Data Labels, go to Alignment, and under the Label Position, click the drop down bar and click Center. Click OK. So that number moves down here. Now I want to change the x-axis so it goes up to 100% or the y-axis I'm sorry to go up to 100% so right click over any of these numbers click the format axis on the scale tab <coughs> go to maximum and hit 1 just put 1 in there click OK so that goes up to 100% but now it doesn't really look like a thermometer. You know, it just looks like one single bar or column. So it doesn't look very good. So now we're going to right click Format Data Series again. This time, stay on the Patterns tab and go to Fill Effects. There, go to the Gradient tab. And what you can do here is you can modify the gradient to look like however you want with one color, two colors. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave it at the default for right now with the default blue color. The main thing is go down to shading styles here in the bottom left and click vertical. Now I'm going to select the variant in the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going to click OK and OK. And so it kind of looks like that. So now it looks a little bit more like a thermometer. Now you can stop whenever you want. The main thing is just to get it to look like how you want it to look. So right now you've got it looking like the basic thermometer chart. Some other things you could do to this is if you only wanted to show the thermometer we can do this. Go up to Tools, Options, go into, oh, I already have the chart selected so I need to close out click any one of these cells, go up to Tools, Options, View. In the bottom left hand corner of the View tab, uncheck Grid Lines. Now you're not going to have any grid lines at all. The next thing you can do is select all of the data you used to chart and make that white or the same color as the background. Then you can't see it anymore put our thermometer right here. You can take off the border of the chart by formatting the chart area. So right click format chart area, border, none, okay. And actually let's give this a black background. Format plot area and I'm going to select a dark color. And there you have a thermometer chart. So basically it's really easy to create and I spent most of the time just doing the formatting. So you can format it however you want. The most important thing to make it look like a thermometer is to actually get this gradient right here. So all you do is right click Format Data Series, then go to Fill Effects, and the gradient's right there. So that's the most important part to make it look like a thermometer. And that's how you can create the chart.